welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials today we will discussing with isomorphous system what you can say both the metals are soluble into liquid state and solid state so in the case of binary metal alloys so both the metals here it will be copper and nickel system both are soluble into liquid state and solid state so how to construct the phase diagram for the isomorphous system or phase diagram for copper nickel systems so let us start with the how to construct the diagram so here it will be the x axis which will be representing weight percentage of compositions y axis from both the end it will be temperature in degree centigrade so construction of isomorphous system copper having a melting point 14530 degree centigrade and nickel having a melting point 1060 degree centigrade so as s axis weight percentage of compositions so beginning from 100% nickel to 0% nickel and 0% copper to 100% copper so various compositions of copper nickel alloy systems it will be present on to the x axis so on to the y axis according to the highest melting point of the alloys of copper and nickel and that will be 1453 degree centigrade so according to that making a scale on the y axis on to the temperature 500 1000 and 1500 degree centigrade now as from the 100% nickel so melting point of nickel 1060 degree centigrade so it will be act as a pure metal so another and 100% copper so copper having a melting point 14530 degree centigrade so it will be representing on to the temperature now i want to draw the cooling curve for pure metal because here from both the and copper and nickel it will be 100% so it will be act as a pure metal so liquid liquid plus solid and solid according to the cooling curve for pure metal and another end for the copper liquid liquid plus solid and solid so what i want to draw the cooling curve for the 80% nickel and 20% copper so that will be act as a binary solid solution materials or binary solid metals so both the metals having a different melting point so the cooling curve for the binary solid metals as shown in the figure liquid liquid plus solid and solid suppose i want to draw the cooling curve for 60% nickel and 40% copper so once again it will be the binary solid solution so liquid liquid plus solid or you can say solid is a one kind of alpha phase of the two materials of copper and nickel then solid suppose i want to draw the cooling curve for 20% nickel and 80% copper similar kind of diagrams so liquid liquid plus solid and solid now i want to common line like the line that will be passing from the starting point of the solidification for each and every cooling curve of different compositions of copper and nickel system so suppose one line that will be touch the starting point of the solidification or you can say the end point of the liquid phase so above all the phase that will be 100% liquid from this line or that will be called as a liquidus line similarly i want to draw the line which will be passing through the end point of the solidification process so after that for any compositions all the composition material it makes the single solids because here copper and nickel having a 100% solubility into liquid and solid state so that will be representing as a solidus line 
or we can say 100 percent solid. So, these are the methods to construct a isomorphous systems or both the metals are soluble into liquid and solid state. There are some more things about the copper and nickel systems. So, in that case, generally phase diagram is based on the temperature, composition and the pressure. For this course binary system or you can say the just two component system and independent variables temperature and composition because pressure always remains one atmospheric and it will be constant. So, just you can see the phase diagram for copper and nickel system here it will be the liquid phase, solidus phase, liquidus line, solidus line and in between liquidus line and solidus line liquid plus alpha phase. So, two phase you can observe from the diagram liquid phase and alpha or you can say FCC solid solutions or three phase fields liquid, liquid plus alpha and the alpha. So, let us see how it will be changes with respect to temperature and composition. So, rule number one if we know temperature and composition then we know the number and the type of phase is present. So, let us see the sum of the examples at 1100 degree centigrade and the 60 percentage of nickel there is a only single phase is being present and that will be representing onto the diagram and it will be 100 percent solid alpha FCC solid solution. Some more temperature and composition so at B point 1 to 5 0 degree centigrade and 35 percentage of nickel it will be having a two phase liquid plus alpha as shown into figure. Some more rules if we know the temperature and composition then we know the composition of each phase. So, let us see the sum of the examples. Composition 35 per percentage of nickel at T A temperature or you can say 1320 degree centigrade. So, here only liquid phases exist or you can say the 100 percent liquid at 35 percentage of nickel and 1320 degree centigrade. At point number D or you can say 1190 centigrade only solid phase it will be exist. But at point number B just you can see that will be in between liquid plus alpha phase so as you can say T B temperature equal to 1 to 5 0 degree centigrade and 35 percentage of nickel. So, both alpha and liquid phase it may be present. So, there is a one horizontal line you can see that will be intersect the liquidus line, composition line and solidus line. So, that horizontal line which will be intersect that will be called as a tie line. So, it must be into into balance. So, just you can take the projections onto the composition line from the liquidus line and the solidus line. So, composition as liquidus that will be the 32 percentage of nickel and composition of alpha solids it will be 43 percentage of nickel. So, 3 points 32 liquid 35 composition and 43 percentage of solidus. Then rule number 3 if we know temperature and composition then we know the amount of each phase or we can say weight percentage. So, that will be from the lever arm rule. So, if composition that will be same 35 percentage of nickel at T A temperature. So, you can see 100 percent liquid and 0 percent alpha. Similarly, at point number D, so only solid, so weight percentage of liquid it will be becoming 0 and weight percentage of solid it will be 100 percent solid. But I am interested with the point number B. So, just you can see for both the alpha and liquid or you can say weight percentage of liquid that will be equal to S divided by R plus S and weight percentage of alpha R divided by R plus S. So, in simple way if you want to find weight percentage of liquid 
just you can considering the point which will be intersecting the solidus line so here for the weight percentage of liquid that intersecting point it will be side of the s so s divided by rs if you interested to find weight percentage of alpha just you can see or observe the intersecting point at liquidus line so that side you can consider and divided by the total length of the tie line So that will be called as a lever arm rule. So just you can think, mass of the liquid it will be balanced with the mass of the alpha. So mass into alpha into s distance that will be always equal to mass of the liquid into r distance must be into balance and that will be representing by the lever arm rule. in the case of isomorphous system or both the metals are soluble into liquid and solid state so thank you very much if you like this then subscribe like share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials